Hey guys, okay, now we're gonna talk about the next efficiency in the automation because the idea would be this. We went and got our domains and set them up inside software installers so we can manipulate them. And now we're thinking that we're gonna do what? We're going to install our template onto all those domains from the file repository. And by the way, if you remember, when you see this weirdness, do what? Come up here, okay? Get rid of the S, then you're good to go. Sooner or later, we'll figure that out and fix it, but so far we just keep sort of ignoring it. We'll get to it. Uh, we're doing a lot. <laughs> All right, you're gonna go to wherever you have these things that you're gonna install, and that's these here, right? One zip, one SQL, that's what you have, and it's the latest version. So for me, it's like, you know, version four, really. There's the old, then this, then that, then that, anyway. <clears throat> you're going to want to install it onto all your websites. And what do you have? You have these 25 websites that we put in the system, right? Uh, whatever they are. Now, coolest thing about all that, what, wherever I put them in, they are kind of in here, aren't they? Or, oh, I took them out, right? Because they couldn't be, yeah, that's right. They couldn't be added. But yours would be added. You'd see your 25. My 25 wouldn't work because why? Because I didn't really buy those domain names, so they could not really add them to the list, which is nice, right? This thing actually is letting you know along the way if there's an issue. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to do an installation, whether you're doing individual or batch, okay, then you're going to want to install that template onto all those websites. Here's a crucial point in the decision-making process. Before I do that, do I have an idea what project I would like to do? Okay, say you do. Say you're gonna do a project for a particular uh, client, industry, company, you know, or a couple, who knows. But because you wanna do that project, whether it's for dentistry, garage door repair, whether it's for some kind of program that somebody's offering online, could be anything. Maybe you really care about getting good images up for them. Now, that's this is the time to consider that because if you are gonna get those images, would you rather do it now and put them into the template now before you copy that template to 25 websites, taking those images with it every time so that you can manipulate the variables? Or would you rather put up 25 templates now and then start collecting images and have to upload those images to each of those 25 templates manually. See, that's the whole thing about automation and streamlining and everything we do to be competitive within the industry. We do our best to think ahead. It would be okay for me to get enough images for all 25 websites and then stick them in the original version. Like, let me come back to file repository. <clears throat> and go to the one you happen to have is this one. Now, this is a zip file, okay? What if I did this? You can download it. You can download your SQL file, you can download your zip file, and that gives you a backup anyway. But say I'm gonna download the zip file right here, okay? I'm gonna show you how we can add images that you look up or find or buy or whatever you do to get your images, get them from the client. And then when you do that, then you're going to be able to stick them in there and re-upload the zip file, see? And that way, you've actually got all the images for all the websites already ready inside the zip file before you go through all your process. And then can you do that again later, like for another project, if you're going to upload to overwrite, just so you add in all the images? You could do that. You could do that. So let me unzip to, I'm going to unzip to the folder itself here on my desktop so I don't get files all over the place. Okay. Because that zip file, you know, it's an installer. And so it's got all the files right inside of it. Um, let me just see what's going on. Okay. All right. I'm going to let it go ahead and extract and then we'll come back to this. Okay, so all the files have been exported and, or extracted, and I want to point something out. There are two folders you would consider <clears throat> at this point. One is themes, and the other is user files. Now, don't mix up themes with theme, okay? There can be more than one theme in your themes. Here's what that means. When you log into your admin panel, you have a button called themes. If I click on it, 
there are two themes in here. There's a, at least two themes anyway from, from the demos I've been making. So there's banner, okay? And then I selected it to make a copy and I gave that copy a new name and I called it Denver PC, right? For pest control, right? So I could flip back and forth between the themes. So I was just showing people. By the way, notice that they both have the same screenshot, right? We don't have a direct way of changing the screenshot. So you would really care about the name. The name is what populates up here. That's how you know which one you're working on. The one that's all the way on the left is activated. If I wanted to switch, I would activate this one, okay? And when it activates it, I can see that now that is the theme I'm working inside. So no matter where I go in the system right now, it is using that theme. No matter what my settings are, they're for that theme, okay? So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna switch back. I'm gonna reactivate the banner, okay? Anyway, where do you find these things? Just so you know, um, like adding images, you wanna add your images to this one. And then if you had different images for this theme, you would, uh, you would want to add them to that. See, that's why I'm bringing this up. So you wanna know this stuff. Also, just for fun, if you wanted to practice creating your own screenshot, you could do it. You could take one of these, drag it to your desktop, and that way you could right click it, hit properties or whatever, you know, I just wanted to show you real quick, okay? Good practice for this stuff is what, okay? Is It's telling me the dimensions are huge. It's a really big file. I don't need it to be huge like that. I should make this a much smaller file, right? Because the width, the, I mean, the dimensions only need to go from here to here. So if I did like a print screen, I'm just showing you, what would the optimized dimensions for this screenshot image be, okay? Well, that's it. It actually told me I didn't need to let it go. <laughs> Shouldn't have let it go. But anyway, here it is. So it's telling me 455 by 224. So really, that's the right image. You know, so I could save this, right? And that would be a new screenshot. How'd you normally make a screenshot? You go to the front end of your website. And you just do a print screen. Take a big square with the parts in it that you care about. And then save it. And then use your image resize tool to resize it down and crop it to get it to the right size, right? That way you have a matching screenshot for each theme. So where would you put the screenshot? And more importantly, where do you put the images for each of those? Because you could deal with them now before you upload this thing to 25 websites. That way you don't have to repeat your work 25 times later. So let me just show you. If I go into themes, okay, I've got my two themes, banner and Midwest real estate and you're saying how does that not match what you're showing me live? Well, it doesn't match because this one's the live one I've been working on <clears throat> But this is the one I saved from earlier when I was doing earlier demos, but it is the latest version. Okay So anyway, there's that now Let me see. I think the screenshot whoops not there. Sorry themes screenshots probably right inside one of those yeah see that there it is so if you created your own screenshot.png and drag and dropped it in here then your individual screenshots would be appropriate for the different template you create right now that's just something you can play with do you really need to create appropriate the uh, screenshots no we're going off of the names but if you wanted the screenshot to match the name for easy recognition especially if you go creating lots of themes you might create 150 then you could do individual screenshots for each so you have visual recognition very quickly okay having said that there's the next thing aside from themes we have user files <clears throat> user files have at least the same two if they have more you may not want to mess with it just in case although this is empty so it doesn't matter but it's possible to save images outside of this. It's possible to have links to images outside of the folders. So you might actually be careful about deleting things you don't recognize, you know, but this is actually empty. There's nothing here but that, and that is empty. So I could safely get rid of this, and it's not like an image link would get broken on the website, right? Now, do you need to delete it? No. <laughs> Let's say I go in a banner. And I go into which? Files or images? Well, that's the same thing as what? I'm on Banner, so I know I'm going to look at the images for Banner. If I hit Browse, right here even, okay? 
there you go. Files has a folder called looping video with these samples in it. And then images has images here. And if I hit the drop down plus, right, lots of folders in here that have their own images, including a folder called banners. Ah, maybe that's where all the main banners are, right? So if I wanted to like add a bunch more banner images for certain industries, shouldn't I be looking for images and then banners and then seeing if I recognize any of the banner names? Yeah, well, let's just see. So we went into our banner theme and we're going to go into our files first and sure enough, looping video. And there's one because there was just one being saved at the time that this was made. Let me come out and go to images. Aha. It's got all those folders, right? That's exactly what that is, all these folders, right? And inside banners, sure enough, you recognize all those banner images we've been working with, don't you, right? Now, this is cool because if you're going to create more banner images, make sure they're the right size. For example, if you hover over one of these or whatever, it's going to tell you the size, 1801 by 939. How about that one? 1920 by 1080 okay so it's got to be like a minimum width anyway 1920 but this one worked as 1801 huh what about that one yeah 1801 so 1801 works because we've already seen this thing in action and it works but whatever i mean just whichever size you go with that's even bigger 1252 right whatever size you go with it's got to be at least wide enough and these images are that so whatever images you get and you put in here make sure they're at least like what was this one again yeah 1800 is pretty huge 1430 you know 1878 yeah make sure they're all just kind of large that way you know 1800 width and then why is it 939 depth <clears throat> well that's just it i used a tool to auto resize all the images that i got by height so I grabbed really big images and resized them down to 939 height. And that made the width whatever it was corresponding, right? That's why the widths are different widths, but they're all large. So I know it's going to look good enough on the um, display when it gets stretched all the way across the screen because it won't be stretched much from side to side. But I know it's tall enough. See, and by tall enough, what do I mean? Well, 939 pixels tall is why it's filling the screen. 939, for my screen anyway, right? That is the height of my screen. And for most people, their screens aren't that big necessarily. Can you go taller on your images? Yeah, of course. They don't have to be 939. They can be anything you want in the way of height. My point is, go get images, drag them in here, right? And that way you're going to have all your new images inside your zip file because we're going to rezip this thing now. Okay. By the way, if you wanted to get rid of themes from here, just, just the final thing to make sure you really understand what all this means. It's this. If I want to get rid of this second theme and say it was in there, what would I do? I would delete it from both places probably. I would delete it from themes. I could, I could just up and delete that theme and it will no longer appear in this list. Okay. It will be gone. Doesn't mean that I necessarily want to delete the user files. Not necessarily. Why? Because sometimes when you copy themes and you go updating images, you don't always update all of the paths. And so it might still be looking up some of the images or looping videos from that folder you created. When you copy it, it's going to copy all those image paths over, but you might actually still have some direct links somewhere in your project that come back to this folder. So it's usually a pretty good idea to leave your user files alone. If you want to get rid of themes, just delete them from the theme section. Okay. All right. So now that all that is done. Okay. Another thing you could do if you ever wind up with an error log. There's no reason to keep an error log. It just takes up space for no good reason. So you might just go ahead and delete it. Okay. Where else do you find an error log? Sometimes in the administrator folder. Aha. Now again, it's taking up space like 518 kilobytes. I'll just delete it. Because you're going to multiply it by 25, right? 
So I'm just telling you things to think about so that you think about them. <laughs> All right, so now that I'm done with that, what do I zip up? You might think I should zip up the whole folder, but the answer is no, because it's going to extract that way. It's going to open up as a folder that way. See how all of these files are right away inside the folder? If I zip up this folder, that's going to be the wrong folder path. How do I create what I need? I go in here. I control A to control all, you know, select everything. That, all of this right in here is what I'm going to zip up. Except guess what else I'm not going to zip up? I don't need the SQL file or the zip file. These went up there and before they were extracted. So I no longer need these. They're just taking up space. Delete them. Okay. Yeah, so you should have no SQL files in here in the zip file. There's no need. And you should have no zip file inside the zip file. Okay. Don't worry about going through all the folders. It'll just take up too much time to bother with. Just that one in the main area. But then that way, this is a much smaller file now. It takes up a lot less space when you upload it. And that's cool. So now I'm going to control all, right click. In my case, I'm going to win zip it. <clears throat> and it's going to say add to, and it's going to give me an idea for a name. I'll say, okay, I can always change the name. <clears throat> So give it a minute to go ahead and complete that process. <laughs> Adding air log, that's so funny. Thought I got rid of those, but I guess there's another one somewhere. All right, so what did it do? It created my zip file, and again, I put it in here, right? And it happens to be 42 meg, okay? So it's in here. Now that it's zipped up and in here, I'm going to cut it and move it, right? I'm going to get it out of this folder because it doesn't need to be in that folder anymore. So I'm going to paste it here, except guess what? It's going to have the same name as this. So before I even bother with that, I'm going to delete the old one or, you know, archive it, something. And then I'll just put this here instead. You know, however it is I move it, drag and drop. Close out. And you can rename it now. Rename. Give it the same name that you had before, just for simplicity. Whatever the name is that you've got in there now, go ahead. I'm going to leave it like that for my purposes, because I, you know, just should for consistency. See? So, now, if I want to upload it, how do you do it? Well, first, I delete the old one. I guess I will. I can. Okay. And then... I'm going to upload the new one. Get on my desktop. Come on down to that one, which I just created. That's the one. It's the right date and time. And guess what I can do? When I upload it, it's going to upload here. It's going to upload to whatever window you're on, right? So if you had to change windows, change screens, do it before you do this. Okay. I'm going to upload. Okay, so there it is. So now you saw it. You saw a trick to easily just download this, extract it, extract to here, or, or extract to its own folder name so that it doesn't put files all over your desktop, and then go in that folder name you created, with, you know, by extracting to it. Go and manipulate your stuff. Go into your themes folder if you care about the screenshots. <laughs> uh, go into your user and, and if you want to delete extra themes, right, like I did here. And then go into your user files so that you can find whichever one you're working on, like the main one. And just go ahead and uh, put stuff in here. You can stick more looping videos inside the file if you have looping videos. I happen to have another one. So I could put it in there, right? Actually, I'd like to copy it in there because I might just want to use that for other things. So it's just a sample, but there you go. You know, you can stick it in there and then you can come out, go to your images and all your images. You can decide what you want to do with the main ones. You can go into different ones like banners, the subfolders, and you can upload banners, overwrite, give them whatever names you can remember for your project because you're going to use them where you're going to use those names the names of your images now in your projects. 
So somewhere in here where we're cycling through our images, right? There we go. What's the first banner image that we want to show? So it's going to be like one of those. Then what's the next one? It's going to be, you know, everything else but the one. <laughs> and the next one, everything else but one of those, right? And the clickable image, if you have one, you know. So it's just whatever it is you're going to use, you know, you're just putting them in here. Okay. So there you have it. Nice and simple, very basic. Oh, that's for inside the pages themselves. Like if somebody does scroll down, right? Then they'll see that clickable image that we put inside the page. It says click the image to continue to, right? In case somebody scrolls below the banner. All right, do you see the idea here? All right, so that's why you care about the names of the images you're uploading so you can manipulate them. If I was doing a garage door repair project, then I'd have like GDR1, GDR2, GDR3, GDR4, GDR5. And then that would be like two through five. That would be like three through five. By the way, why are we cutting one off at the bottom? Because um, do you remember how we're going to do mini combinations? And so we want them all to come out differently. So instead of having them all match and then start over again, then start over again, we're offsetting these entries so that it winds up mixing and matching. See, because if we create, what would that be, 22, 22, then when we create the 23rd and it starts over here, well, I'm sorry, here's the point. When it creates 22, it can't grab anything from here. So it's going to grab this one and that one, right? Except that when it created 21, it already had to grab a third one from here. So it's going to mix and match the entire way. So it really becomes 22 combinations times 21 times 20. And that gives you a situation where at least one in three, 33% of this much content, one in three is different every time. And that's a lot of variations. 20 times 20 is 400 times 20 is 8,000. So we've got 8,000 combinations coming off of that, basically. All right, I think you get the point now for efficiency's sake, because now when we go to install this thing that we created, this, you know, we put the images in there, the ones we want for the projects we'd like, and we're gonna go and install this to all our websites, the images are done on all of those websites. We don't have to go upload the set of them or one of them one panel at a time. We don't need to, right? Ain't that cool? All right, that's it for this topic. Then we'll continue to the next.